Okay, in this video we're going to be continuing our setup by setting up our session interface and then which is very simple and then we're going to create our create session uh, we're going to make it so we can create a session essentially and then travel to it if the session is successfully created so what we can do is in the init we're going to do if i online subsystem subsystem equals i online subsystem get so if that creates a valid pointer we know we're good to go now we need to do subsystem and I'm trying to think of this function we want to get the session interface and as you can see what it returns is an i online session pointer so we know that's I online session pointer. I'll call this one session interface, like so. And I want to set this up in the header because the session interface we will be using everywhere. So let's just do that and remove that. And we cannot compile just yet, even though everything might look fine, with the exception of this, because we have to include the session interface in our actual header. So the way we do that is we do include interfaces. Just search for session. You will see online session interface.h, like so. And as you can tell, the init squiggly line for IntelliSense is going away, so we can now compile. Okay, there we go. Now we can do it a check to make sure it's valid. So if session interface, oops, sorry, dot is valid, then we continue. So here's where we would bind our delegates. So I'm going to comment it, call it bind delegates here. And by that, I want to show you, it's going to be, well, we'll come back to that here in a, actually, I'll show you an example, and then I'm going to remove it. So session interface on create, so here we have on create session complete delegates dot add, we're going to do add u object, and the parameters it takes in is their class, which is, well, this, and then the function we want to call. Well, in our case, it's going to be u tutorial game instance than the function that we make for this. So I'm going to comment that for now because I want to make our blueprint functions. So I'm going to do u function blueprint callable, call it void create server. I want to make another one, call it join server. And then create the definitions. Just like so. And compile. All right, we're done compiling. Now we can go back to our tutorial main menu widget. Go to where we have our bound events for the button clicks and drag off our game instance to do create server, because that's what we want to call. And here we can do join server, because that's what we want to call from this button. Compile, save, and we no longer need our widget. Now we can create our binding, our delegate. So we need to create a function for it to call when our create session is complete, essentially. So I want to make this a virtual void, because if we ever want to override it in the future, It'll make it nice and easy to do so. So virtual void on create session complete. And we need some parameters for this to take in. So we can figure out what those parameters are by going to the I online session page here in the documents and finding what we're doing. So actually here we are on create session complete delegates. 
If you look to the left here, we have F on create session complete. Click it, and you can see it takes in an F name and a Boolean. So let's do F name. We can assume this is called server name. And then we have a Boolean, which is generally when you see Booleans on this case, they're usually determining whether or not they're successful or not. So we're going to do bool succeeded. Now we can create our definition. So I'm going to continue with our binding and set it to on create session complete. So on create session complete and semicolon, just like that. And that is literally all there is to that. Now, once our create session is completed, this will be fired. So I'm going to create a log here just so we can see it. So UE log. And I'm just going to do the name. Succeeded. Print out that value. And call it a day on that for now. So on create server, we have to actually create the session. So we're going to use the session interface. Like I said, we use this for everything. We're going to do session interface, create session. And you can see what it takes in. Hosting player ID, just leave that to zero. Session name, it's going to be an F name. My session. Then we have on F online session settings as the third parameter. So let's create that. So F online session settings, session settings. And I'll put that in as the last parameter. Now we need to go through the settings. So session settings dot, and you'll see a nice old list of stuff that you can set. So I'm going to set allow join progress to true. Is dedicated equals false. Is land match. I'm going to set to true because in our case it is because I'm also just testing. When we use the Steam, we want setting this to false. We can also check if we're using the Steam subsystem or the null subsystem, which we are currently using. So B should advertise equals true. B uses presence, true. Number of public connections, I'm going to set that to five. And that is all for now. Okay. I'm going to print out one more quick Unreal Engine log, just so we know that we're creating the server and that it did fire. So I'm going to compile. And for this, we will be testing, well, at least I am anyways, outside of the editor. So what I've done is I've made a quick little batch file. And all it is is a path to your Unreal Engine editor, path to your project that you're testing with, the actual U project. Then we give it the tags game. And I want it to have a log, so I print out the log. You can read it from here and put it in if you want. I have a tutorial on how to do this with a hosting and joinings uh, batch files. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And here we have our log. So, so let's hit create server. And you say morning create server. And then the on create session complete delegate was fired. And success was set to one, meaning the session was successful. Actually, there's something I want to show you real quick. Uh, it automatically does little checks, essentially. So if you have multiple sessions up, you cannot continue to remake them. So I'm going to create the server. As you see, it's successful. I try to do it again, and it fails, saying, can I create my session? So the session already exists. So you pretty much have to destroy a session or use a different session name in order to create another one. But now that the session is created, we're going to do if succeeded, we want to server travel. So we're going to do get 
world. Alright, my shift key burst break. Alright, that was neat. I think I broke my shift key. Alright, so when you do I need to do the include for get world. Actually, will it tell me which ones it already needs? Oh come on, shift. Oh, alright, so we gotta do that ourselves. So that is include engine world.h. So get world. We do server travel. Then the URL we want to travel to. So that's going to be our level. Now I want to travel to my first person example map, being this one. Uh, I've already actually, since I said I've done this before, I want to remove the blueprint in the level blueprint that I've done, just to show you again. And I want to right click on my level that I want to go to, hit copy reference. So then we're going to paste it in here. We're going to remove everything in front of the first forward slash and everything after the period. And from here, we're going to do question mark, listen. And that would indicate that this is in fact a listen server. So I want to go ahead and compile. Compile was successful. And now if the server cr creation was successful, we should go to that map. All right, so here's our log, create server. And as you see, we are good to go. Everything was done. You can tell all the Steamwork stuff failed because we were we're not using it. But you can see we moved to the level, but I have no control. That's because we had to set those settings that I was talking about inside of the level blueprint. So go to your level, open your level blueprint, do get player controller. We do our mouse is fine. I want to go ahead and do it anyways, actually. Set show mouse cursor to false and set input mode to game only. Like so. Compile, save, give it a quick little test again. And make sure that we're good. Alright. There we go. Ignore the uh, animation. For some reason, the first person mannequin, all their animations are rotated like 90 degrees. Because this is straight right now with my custom idle and shoot montage, but using their animations, they're just 90 degrees off. It's really weird. I don't know why they did that. But yeah, we join the session and everything is just fine. So let's close it and we'll reiterate what we've done. So what we did was we got access to our online subsystem. Then we got access to the session interface from that subsystem. So then what we wanted to do was we wanted to bind a delegate so pretty much a function that fires once the session is finished being created in our case via this on create session complete delegates so we wrote a custom function that takes in an f name and a boolean to indicate if the creation of the server was successful or not from there we check if it succeeded if it was then we server travel now what kicks off this event is our create server function that we set up to be blueprint callable, so we call it when our button is pressed from our widget. So what this does is we create our little structure here, session settings, and we set a bunch of just variables to what we want. So like for example, I want people to be able to join in progress even though the session started. This is not gonna be a dedicated server, so we're just gonna set it to false, and if it should advertise, that kind of thing. So from there, we use our session interface again. Like I said, we use it for everything. And we're going to call create session. The parameters it takes in is our hosting player number. We're just using zero because we're the first index anyways. doesn't really matter. We go to session name. Then we pass in the structure of session settings. And that kicks off everything else. Unreal Engine handles everything else in the background for us, thankfully. So 
Hopefully that was useful. And I will see you in the next one when we go through and actually find the sessions and print out the number of sessions that we have. So I'll see you then.